Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my entire luxury shoe collection. Shout out to my supporters from my last video. Thank you so much for always liking my video and commenting. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Here's my entire luxury shoe collection. I have collected these designer shoes since early 2000. My first pair of designer shoes was Gucci pumps when I was still in the Philippines, which I will share it with you in this video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my very first pair up to my latest acquisition. So from boots, sneakers, pumps to flip-flops, let me know in the comment section below what are your favorite pairs of designer shoes from my collection. So we're going to start from left to right in no particular order. So let's start off with my Burberry rain boots, same mark check, which I forgot to include while I was filming. So I got this pair of rain boots back in 2013 i believe i love this burberry rain boots so much it's very comfortable i've been wearing this every winter and i've worn this in the snow with no problems at all i really really love this rain boots so that's my first pair um my second pair is this chanel ankle boots that i purchased in december 2019 it was on sale but up until now i haven't worn them it has very unique heels and a cc logo on the back of the heels which i love so much however uh, i haven't worn this and i've been thinking of selling this but uh, i am still 50 50 until now i still kept this they're still with me so i might just keep them so uh, here's my third pair these are the iconic louis vuitton star trail boots which i acquired this in uh, i believe in 2019 these were very popular in 2018 2019 so i got this from rodeo drive in november 2019 now i remember so yeah uh, it was around 1280 but now, when I saw the price, it, it's gone up to $1,660. So the next one, this is my fourth pair of shoes. Uh, it's a Louis Vuitton Runway sneakers. So these were $825 back then in 2018. But my husband got this for me when we traveled in Paris. And we got this at Champs-Élysées uh, in Paris in 2018 so back then uh, it was around 825 but now it's 1040 so this is my fifth pair of shoes um, chanel espadrilles this is my very first chanel um, shoes so it's in lambskin and gross grain this one is very unique it's a different type of espadrilles so they're not the same as the regular espadrilles but these are slightly uncomfortable so yeah, so these were like um, priced a little bit more compared to the regular espadrilles. So yeah, I think this was 750 back in 2018 when I got this. So yeah, so the next one is my Chanel Tweed Espadrilles, which I got for my birthday in um, 2020. So these are 725 and these are my most comfortable shoes or espadrilles. The only con is that these are tweeds which will get dirty easily but I see to it that I clean them every after use. So my seventh pair are these Chanel red and pink combination um, espadrilles. It's in lambskin and these matches with my Chanel mini rectangular flap and I got this on the first few months of the pandemic during the lockdown so my SA sent this to me. These are also comfortable and the price was 725 at that time and now here's my eighth pair so this is actually my very first luxury shoes which is gucci pumps i got this in early 2000 so these are the gucci pumps with giant logos um 
I believe I got this for only $500 and I got this when I was still in the Philippines. So these are my favorite shoes and these are my lucky shoes. Every time I go for an interview or for a special event, um, I always get lucky with the shoes whenever I wear them. So I call them my lucky shoes. So my ninth pair is this Louis Vuitton pump. So this one is in the shorter heels. So there are two types of heels for this LV pump. So yeah, I got this in 2019 as a reward for myself for getting a promotion back then. And it was around, I think, $800. And now I, I believe it went up. Uh, the price went up. And I usually wear this at work, at the church. So my 10th shoes are this Dior sandals from 2007. The sandals has a matching Dior baguette bag. When I got this, I only got this for $395. That was the retail price. And I don't see this anymore. These are discontinued. So my 11th pair is this Dior Espadrilles, which I got in 2020. By the way, guys, I have shared my luxury Espadrille collection uh, recently. So I will link it below if you guys wanted to check it out. I will leave it in the description box. So here is my 12th pair of shoes. So this is the Chanel Ballerina Flats in beige and black cap toe, which we got from the Chanel flagship store in Paris back in 2018 and then the next one a 13th pair of shoes are these gucci espadrilles which i got from uh, 2017 and these are my recent favorite shoes to wear during weekends and yeah so back then it was only 395 so my 14th pair of shoes are these chanel sneakers which i got last year um, it was 1150 i love the sneakers it's a combination of wool fabric and suede leather it's very comfortable i just love the gray and black combination and then my 15th pair of shoes are these ferragamo pumps this is the iconic design from ferragamo i got this in the early 2000 which i bought from the philippines at rustan's department store one of the high-end shops in the philippines i actually still have the stickers on the back of the shoes like i said these are uh, the iconic uh, ferragamo shoes with dipped uh, 24 karat gold i love the shoes so much however these are not so comfortable so my 16th pair of shoes um well here's another ferragamo shoes but in loafers design i purchased this uh, pair of shoes here in the u.s uh, my 17th pair are these Hermes Oasis sandals. We purchased this when we were traveling in Belgium. Uh, these are the classic gold color. I was debating between Oasis or Oran sandals, but I chose this Oasis. And I really love this pair of Oasis sandals from Hermes. These are very comfortable. So my 18th pair are these Hermes flip-flops. And I forgot the name of this design. All I can say about this pair of flip-flops, they are not very comfortable. That's why I rarely wear them. And the 19th shoes that I have are these Valentino jelly sandals. These are quite comfortable. Uh, it feels like you're wearing jewelry on your feet. So they are very pretty and comfortable. My 20th pair are these Christian Louboutin flats. My husband gifted me this last year and I've been wanting to have this Christian Louboutin but in pumps. However, I can't wear super high heels anymore so I'm glad I found this. They're very comfortable. And I really really love the design and the colors. It's very pretty. My 21st uh, pair are these Chanel slippers and I got this last year for um, $900. And I only worn this once when we were on vacation last year. And this needs to break in as these are still quite snugged. So my 22nd pair of shoes are these Hermes Espadrilles, which I got last year for my birthday. And these are very comfortable. And I would love to add the other colors uh, of the Espadrilles from Hermes. 
So here are my latest sandals purchases uh, from Hermes. So these are Hermes Eggery sandals in black and vert and brown. So I have recently shared my unboxing. If you haven't seen my unboxing yet, I will leave the link in the description box. So yeah, so that is it for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what are your favorite pairs from my collection. Please comment down below. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!